The greatest teacher is called doing. My friends, great to have you with us. That is a quote by Kevin Kelly, and we talk about that all the time. OJT, on the job training. That is what we want you to do, 10 to 15 minutes each and every day. Patreon members have a great Patreon question and answer session for you from today, 1230 this afternoon. We got that going. We have it recorded, uploaded. We'll be sending you a link at your email. It'll also, like with everything, it will be uploaded at the Patreon page. Remember, if you are a Patreon member, you get the ability to send us your questions each and every month, which we address along with your favorite stocks and ETFs. One I was not able to find, we had a new Patreon member asking me about silver and gold futures and the symbol they sent me. They need to be symbols that I can find on TradingView. If they're not there and the symbols weren't, I couldn't find them there, but we'll We'll find some gold and silver futures, and we'll help track those later. But what we do is we backtrack those for you and help you look at your favorite stocks and ETFs and see how trackable they are and whether they are potentially practice tradable for you. So let's jump into these charts. Again, thank you, Patreon members. You're interested. Follow the link in the show notes to become a Patreon supporter with all the great things, particularly Options Made Simple, the Charting Wealth Way. I think it's the best options training on the internet, and it's free to Patreon members at any of the three levels. We see stocks and Bitcoin down, bonds and gold up. Bonds, whoo, way up, 2.36%. Boom, that is absolutely beautiful, but we'll get to that when we get to it, we see the S&P 500 down 0.17%. Look at what it is doing. It's hitting right down here. This is a day and a half where we've set right there on the 200 EMA. Is it getting ready to bounce off of it and move up again? Is it going to cheat us again? It may not. We'll wait. We'll watch. We'll see. Where are we on the two-day? It has, again, popped and then moved below the 200 EMA, but it's not cleared it yet. Maybe, maybe it's not too long in the tooth to go up again. Maybe not. We'll wait and see. What about the weekly? It's still green also on the STC. Green spinning top for the weekend decision could go either way. See which way it goes. That's where we are on the S&P 500. Now, folks, remember... The always winning method we have. How many times do you have to win to move forward? This two to one risk to reward ratio. Simple math tells you that if you win, actually it's a little less than 40%, but just 40% of the time, that is four out of 10 trades work, six out of 10 fail, you will still move forward. So keeping that in mind that if you are that bad a trader, you're still gonna move forward if you do the right math. Two to one risk to reward ratio, that's what we always set in these trades. We use the average true range to set our profit and loss bands. We use this little tool over here under the prediction and measurement tools. You've got one to go long and one to go short, and they are beautiful little tools. And when we look at the entry point, we look over here to the average true range, and it tells us where to set that based upon the, the average true range. Single average true range for the loss, double that for the profit ban, and you are in business. Okay, let's keep moving through these charts. We see the NASDAQ 100 down 0.41%. Of course, it has rotated through went up and rotated through that 200 EMA on the half-day chart, heading down. Is it to possibly reset? Maybe still green on the STC, although two red down candles. And of course, when we look at where we are on that two-day, we popped up but didn't make it through. You warned about that earlier. The weekly, however, of course, did move above the 200 EMA, but we got a really weak week going on. So we'll see. We'll see what the S&P and the NASDAQ 100 end up doing. Now, bonds booming through the 200 EMA on this half-day chart. Where are we on the two-day? Well, the two-day and the weekly are well below the 200 EMA, but heading up strongly. Bonds are really moving up quite strongly. And we look at the weekly, and of course, 
same thing there, abounding up. But, of course, no opportunity to really jump in because things rotated over well below the 200 EMA and all the way back in early November. So we'll wait for things to reset, see if they give us an opportunity to jump back in. Again, all of these are experiences for you to practice and then for you to apply to your favorite stocks and ETFs, learning how we do this, why we do it, the way we do it. Now, let's look at where we are in gold. Gold up for the day, 0.90%. Uh, and we'll move that widget back a little bit. There we go. Um, but we see things moving up, although we're still red on the STC, not looking for a jumping in point there. We look at where we are on the two-day, trying to move through the 200 EMA there, green on the STC. And we're not reaching the highs of last week, but still trying to move up above the 200 EMA on the weekly. So gold continues to be poised for some more up movements. We'll see, though, if we're going to be able to get clear of this latest topper. So we'll wait, watch, and see. Lastly, we have Bitcoin. It's down for the day over 1%, 1.04%. We look at where we are on the half-day chart, and of course, we see the big hammer. Then things sort of hit the bottom, moved up. Now they appear to be starting to move over again. As we look at the two-day chart, you can see a little more as to, you know, all the bloody mess that has been Bitcoin. Again, just things are just sort of, again... Hammering down, hammered down. We'll see how long they drag sideways and when things take off in Bitcoin. It may be quite a while. Of course, we got to go back to those glory days when things were at what that uh, $69,000 mark. We don't go back that far on XBTF. Why? Because we didn't have this ETF founded. Uh, it wasn't approved by the SEC until November of last year. It didn't start trading until then. Remember, this is not Bitcoin itself. This is a closed month, short-term future. The nice thing about it is that it tracks Bitcoin fairly accurately. It is trackable, as we've seen in the past, tracking it. And you don't have to go to one of these crypto exchanges that might just fold on you. And of course, could I be referring to, well, I could be referring to several things. Uh, even the most notorious and recent one, I think there's actually one after that, but, uh, you know, FTX. So again, something for you to practice, trade for you to look at, for you to keep in mind, because you can trade this on any of your online brokers. And of course, encourage you to practice trade it. Bitcoin has lots of volatility. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're just going to be gambling and lose a lot of money. And we got nothing going on at this point. You can see where we are on the weekly chart after a lot of bleeding. Uh, a beautiful little uptime here for four weeks from July, mid-July up through early August. And then boom. So we'll continue to keep our eye on things. Have a great recording for Patreon members. Everybody else will get it on Friday. It is this week's charting cryptos and commodities. And I would encourage you to look for that every Friday if you're not a Patreon member. Why? Because I tell you, you can look at commodities. You hear the news all the time. You hear the talking heads, the people that speak to you between the commercials they're selling you. You can tell, you can tell how much faith I put in financial news by my comments. Because the beautiful thing about charting is it disintermediates what you hear in the news. It shows you what's really going on because in our world, the only thing that matters is price. And you will see the divergence between what you hear on the news and what's really going on with price, particularly if you follow commodities. It's fascinating. Well, folks, that's it for the end of the day. Patreon members, God bless you. Thank you so much for your help. Everyone else, we do appreciate you tuning in and joining us. Remember, the things you support tend to stay around. Thank you so much, my friends. God bless. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.